Hi everyone, this is Naila here and welcome back to my channel and I'm so sorry it took me so much time to make another video but the good news is that everything is settled now and now I will make regular videos banaungi. Okay, so um, firstly the most important part is that last video was about pulses and the introduction and here we continue karenge. Uh, secondly, thank you so much to continue subscribing my channel and that has motivated me so much that you know now I'll be posting regular regular videos uh, one or two every week. Okay, so I'll be doing that. So stay tuned and I'll be completing this book soon. I have done preparation ki and I hope I complete this 300 pages ka book. So the book what I'm referring to is the Food Science 7th edition B. Shri Lakshmi ki. Okay, and page number 76 pe aapko jana hai. So as I mentioned starting mein bhi mention kiya hai that you have to sit with your textbook to understand much better. Okay, so going forward come to page number 76. So Previous like uh, previous video may you must have uh, seen read about pulses and the introduction. This is the processing part. Previous videos may cereal ka bhi processing paraya hai. Just my rice processing and cereal processing uh, mentioned kya hai. This is similar uh, or easier than that. Okay, so going forward. So processing, processing is basically a process, uh, processing of pulses are of many types. So it all depends upon uh, the need of the final product and how edible you're supposed to make. So that is why the processing is done. So if pulses ko aapko kaun se form mein chahiye, jaysa dal chahiye, dal ke wajay se bhi kaafi cheeze aapko karni padti hai dal mein uh, to have that end product. So this is basically the processing part. So here milling, parching, puffing are done on commercial level but other level, uh, others like processing, soaking, germination, fermentation can also done on domestic level. Ye do jo disting, uh, distinguish kiya hai men this is done by me not from the textbook so to uh, give you a better understanding commercial level pe bhi processing hoti hai and domestic level aapke kitchen mein bhi ho sakti hai okay so further i shall explain why these are done with medical condition as a reference okay so going forward milling so milling while reading imagine a seed Mungdal, aap imagine karo, the seed coat is tightly covers the cotyledon. Okay, cotyledon is basically the inner matter and the green cover of a mungdal is the outer covering. So, uh, textbook wise, the seed coat tightly envelops the cotyledon probably through a layer of gum and lignin. Okay, so you have to mention karna hai that the seed, is, uh, the seed coat tightly covers the cotyledon. Uh, this may be due to a layer of gum and lignin. This, the husk can be loosened and rendered brittle by, by either control drying or critical moisture level and then easily removed by abrasion. So, the outer cover can be loosened if the seed has undergone, undergone control drying to a particular moisture level and can be easily removed by abrasion. Uh, aap imagine kar sakte ho ke hume jab kisi ka cover ya skin nikalna rata hai so you know you uh, you put it in warm water or just water may it be almond badam ka cover nikalna hota hai ya pista ka cover nikalna hota hai so we do these things or maybe egg also egg ko bhi ek particular moisture level pe lana padta hai to remove the cover of it okay on the other hand the moisture is increased if you want to split the cotlet on so aapko split dal bhi milti hai so to uh, achieve that state is split dal ka status ke liye or moisture level add karna padta hai to achieve that level legumes are generally milled to remove the husk wet or dry process okay so yahan pe jaisa mention kiya hai ke legumes are uh, removed to uh, done to remove the outer cover okay that is the husk and the application of edible oils as a pre-treatment are restricted only to legumes so oil Dalna usually legumes mein hota hai, okay, which has a super hard cover and uh, the cotyledon is super tightly bound as compared to pulses. Okay, going forward are the advantages of milling. 
so basically protein digestibility is improved okay net protein utilization of dal is higher than those of the whole seeds removal of hull facilitates a reduction of fiber nutrient available is increased okay seed coats account 80 to 90 percent of the total seed polyphenols dehusking removes this anti-nutritional factor this improves appearance texture cooking quality and palatability keeping quality is improved um, keeping quality matlab aap uski perishable value increase ho jati hai aap kitna time ghar mein rakh sakte ho in dehusking germ can be removed with the skin and may result in loss uh, less loss of thymine okay so ye jo maine read kiya hai wo textbook ka hai but it is mentioned in simpler language on the screen second is soaking since majority pulses whole have harder outer covering it requires soaking before cooking so aapne sunna hoga ki chane ki dal bhigana hota hai rajme ki dal bhigana hota hai ya recently jo kala chana hota hai that is super hard so it also requires soaking so uh, soaking is basically putting the pulse in water during soaking water enters through the hilum ओके सो देर इज अ स्मॉल ओपनिंग ऑन द सीड सो बेसिकली वो पानी वहां से इंटर करता है ओके एंड यहाँ पे टेक्स्ट बुक में ऐसा प्रॉपरली मैंशन किया है तो आई एम गो रीड दैट ड्यूरिंग सोकिंग वॉटर इंटरस टू दाइलम और स्कार वेर द बीन इज अटैच टू द पॉट ओके फ्रॉम देर इट सीव थ्रू द पेरीफेरी ऑफ द बीन एंड कॉजेज द सीड कोड टू रिंकल सो यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन के जब भी आपकी आप आपने या आपके मदर ने राजमा भी गाया है सो आफ्टर सम टाइम इट बिकम्स रिंकली बिकॉज पानी धीरे धीरे सीप कर रहा है इनसाइड दैट इज वाइट बिकम रिंकली दीज रिंकल्स आर लेटर एलिमिनेटेड वेन द सीड का सीड इज बेसिकली फिल्ड विथ वाटर ओके होल पल्सेज आर सोक्ड इन कोल्ड वाटर ओवर नाइट और इन वॉर्म वाटर फॉर फोर टू फाइव आवर्स रिहाइड्रेशन सो बेसिकली दीज आर द टेम्परेचर एंड क्या क्या न्यूट्रिएंट्स का बेनिफिट होता है सो वील गो फॉरवर्ड विद द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सोकिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ पल्स सोकिंग हेल्प्स टू रिड्यूस कुकिंग टाइम एंड आल्सो हेल्प्स टू ऐड मोर फ्लेवर एंड आल्सो अवॉइड्स लॉस ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स ड्यू टू हीट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड जर्मिनेशन सो जर्मिनेशन इज नथिंग बट स्प्राउटिंग लेकिन जो प्रोफेशनल वर्ड जो यूज करना चाहिए आपको आपके एग्जाम्स और टीचर्स के सामने इज जर्मिनेशन ओके ऑल्सो नोज एन स्प्राउटिंग द होल ग्राम्स आर सोक्ड ओवर नाइट एंड वॉटर शुड बी ड्रेनड अवे द सीड शुड बी टाइड अप इन अ लूजली वोवन क्लॉथ एंड हंग सो दिस इज लाइक द आइडियल वे टू डू इट बट मेनी ऑफ अस यू नो जस्ट put the seed in uh, put the pulse in water and then remove the uh, uh, water and just cover that uh, uh, utensil with the damped uh, with the cloth what they are mentioning and just keep it there that also helps in germination water should be sprinkled twice or thrice in a day in a day two or two, two or three germination happens and then later over the period of one one to two day germination ho jata hai two factors are responsible for it which is moisture and warmth so agar aap cold uh, climate mein rehte ho germination will be either delayed or won't happen so it's important that you do it in your summer season okay green gram is also known as moong dal takes a shorter time so the shortest time of germination for any pulse uh, happens with green gram which is nothing but moong dal germination is ideal for summers than in winters like i mentioned just now okay so germination is well explained we will go forward advantages of germination so there are a lot of germination benefits advantages mentioned in the textbook and i have mentioned six of them which is very important or i've broken down basically so i'll go through them nutritive value is improved dormant enzyme gets activated and digestibility and availability of nutrients gets better 
okay uh, starches and proteins are converted into simpler substances so digestion better hota hai so basically germination overall helps you in digestion and availability of nutrients the ratio of essential and non essential amino acids changes to more essential amino acids so non essential amino acids gets converted into essential amino acids minerals like calcium zinc iron are released and also riboflavin niacin folic acid choline biotins are also released so these six are very important apart from that you can mention that germinated pulses add variety to diet um uh, you know dehusking is easier with germination and etc so ek bar aap go through bhi kar le page number 77 pe jo advantages mentioned hai but these are the most important things to mention when uh, when you have a question of uh, processing and you have to mention advantages as well there okay going forward fermentation so fermentation as the word suggests fermentation hum dosa banate time ferment karte hain batter ko so that is nothing but fermentation this process increases the digestibility since the microbial enzymes break down the legume protein and enhances the cooking process breaking of legume protein by the microbial enzyme is called fermentation okay so you remember this by heart kar lo the breaking of legume protein by the microbial enzyme is called fermentation this process increases digestibility and enhances the cooking process vitamin b complex and c increases basically water soluble vitamins increase ho jate okay toxic substances can be eliminated by fermentation and the best example is idli and dosa making ka batter making okay going forward parching and puffing okay so parching is also known as roasting it involves heat treatment of the pulses either on a hot pan or a hot sand spices may or may not be added uh, you must have seen a roasted chanas roasted uh, moong dal that is parching this process is done under 150 to 200 degree depending on the pulses to be parched uh, next is puffing puffing of uh, pulses seeds are soaked in water and mixed with sand that has been heated for 250 degrees puffed bengal gram is also a very um, you know known example Uh, for puffing of grains so puffing uh, puffed bengal gram is nothing but phule chane ki dal aur putane as you will understand uh, the next part is extrusion blends of cereal and legume flours are extruded that is forced through a small opening jaisa for example hum chakli banate hain ya uh, pasta banate hain ya spaghetti banate hain to basically ek mixture bana ke hum ek uh, वेसल के थ्रू पास करते हैं फॉर दैट थिंग टू हैव अ शेप पास्ता का शेप हो गया या स्पेगेटी का शेप हो गया दैट इज नथिंग बट एक्सट्रूशन द प्रोडक्ट कुक्ड फॉर अ शॉर्ट आफ्टर ऑल ऑफ दिस हाई टेम्परेचर एंड मॉइस्चर के गो थ्रू करने के वजह से एंड प्रोडक्ट में कम टाइम लगता है कुकिंग प्रोसेस के लिए सो द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इज फ्लेक्स और स्पेगेटी और पास्ता okay so i am done with explanation of uh, processing of pulses so if at all you get a question for 10 marks suppose you have to mention all of these things so i have uh, cut short and made it into an understandable language so use those you know um, you can fairly explain it uh, but then go through the textbook properly to mention everything properly okay and if you have any doubts do mention in the comment section okay um, going forward i'll be uh, completing this chapter soon so next storage and infestation uh, and toxic constituents mai uh, mention karungi next slide mein and if you have any questions do let me know okay do go through this slide again and again if at all you have any doubts okay uh, but the main part jahan pe maine mention kiya that you by heart this by heart it and you know remember it while writing it it, it will give you a good uh, you know uh, the teacher or the professor will understand that you have understood the concept properly okay thank you so much for your time and i'll take you leave and don't forget to like 
the video and also share it with your friends thank you